Hi, good morning, it's Hatch here again. It's coming up to five to eight. High tide's at nine o'clock, so we're after another session with rays, but this time we should be a little bit different. Hopefully I haven't cut my head off on the camera, but I'm trying out a new bit of equipment. I bought myself one of these GoPro type cameras, an action camera and if we are lucky enough to have a take this morning and there's no reason why we shouldn't, conditions are perfect but if we're lucky enough I'm going to put this on the head, hopefully hit the record button and capture the action as if you are actually landing the fish and not me never done this before, this is the first trip with it out with this camera so hopefully, well we'll just see how it turns out now I've got another bit of equipment with me this morning something which I used last time and it actually spoilt a video I haven't got that one up yet and running but I... on the way to go fishing last time I stopped off at a sports shop which is closing down and I've purchased a new gaff to come down here and catch rays with well unfortunately the angle of the gaff came down here like a fish hook absolutely useless for catching a fish I do if you're leaning over a boat and you're able to gaff up into it but on a beach it's damn near impossible because the first stroke is normally to come down on it especially when it's quite a way away from you anyway I took it home Put the head of the gaff, it's stainless steel, put that in the vise. A little bit of brute force and ignorance, and with my weight that's not difficult. And I've put a, a nice, a, or a far better angle on it, which enables me to gaff down on a fish, which is a lot easier. So there we are, we've got two pieces of equipment. Quite enough talk from me, I do too much talking on the videos anyway. So we're just going to sit back. Uh, Enjoy the view and see what happens. So I'll catch up with you shortly. Right. This is payoff on the Two cameras going, it's picked up both lines.
Well, this won't be wasted, it will be eaten. So, first of all, we'll get rid of the armory. There you are. Only a small one, but will still give you a very nasty wound. I'll be looking to try these out. Just on 13 pounds. Well, here we are, we're on the head cam now, as you can see. I've hooked into the fish. I'm sorry about the angles, my hat is non straight. I'll learn that in future. You can see the ray has actually taken me round a rock here, which, is, which can be a problem, but all I do is give it slack line. Just hang on, one, two, three, watch the rod, watch the was it swam out, lift it quick, maximum pressure, and it's out. Lucky, yes, but you do stay if you're sensible and don't sit there just pulling on the line, hoping to pull it out. Let it swim out by itself. It's the rain it's really giving me problems and this chaos comes in. It's now heading off down the beach to the right. It's kindly picked up the line on the other rod, creating several twists which would have done Chubby Checker credit. I can't follow it down the beach. If I do with the twisted line I'm likely to drag the rod off the rest. So fortunately the ray wasn't too big so I was able to turn it and by putting good side strain on it I got it to come back to me. Again fortunately the sea wasn't too rough, the breakers weren't too bad so I could turn it and I've managed to get it coming back toward me. I saw it broach in the waves, you may see this here in a moment. Um, it's just there so I can I could see that the ray wasn't a huge one so I kept again it is letting the rod do the work for you this is where a nice supple rod comes in handy it absorbs all the extra pressure of the waves on the fish so here we are just going to hold it in the inshore breakers just steady pressure steady pressure my wife's behind me she's there it is she's filming me um, on the handy on the handy cam which you've already seen, I'll just get her to give me the gaff. She, she's really getting the hang of this by now. now. I'll walk down the beach and gaff the fish quite neatly. I've had a complaint on one of my other or an observation on one of my other videos about the way I gaff a fish. Well, here when the water is calm, you can see it's quite easy. All I'm going to do is just lower the gaff and just through the flesh. I can get it where I want and that's it. Take it out, no problems whatsoever. This is not an easy job when the breakers are really rough and the ray is being washed up and down the beach in those breakers. I usually have to go in the water after them. And those spines on a raised tail are very capable of giving you an extremely serious injury which will immediately become infected and lead to a very, very painful wound that will take a long time to heal. I give them all the respect they are due. I'm not getting anywhere near the fish. I'm pulling it up the beach on the trace with long handled pliers. I use those for taking the hook out. I also have a second use for them, which you're going to see right now. Using those long handled pliers, I will take hold of the end of the tail. Lift it up so I can see where the sting is. Run through the top of the tail, underneath the tail, and it comes off very easily. Now look at the, that barb, that's at least two to three inches long. 
if that hit you in the leg or the hand or the arm you would be in big trouble and you'd be a very sick person for quite some time so we get rid of that back where it came from funnily enough it would do me a lot of harm but the seagulls seem to do quite well on them now I've got chance to use another toy which I brought I've just bought this scale I weigh up to 40 pounds but this one as you could see on the starting video this goes 12.69 pounds well if you add on a few bits and pieces for the towel 13 pound is going to be a very accurate weight so there you are now I'm going to kill this ray with a good swift bang over the head and fillets for tea so there you are